Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you one free template which you can find out how you can load it to your workspace at the end of this video. And as usual, please try it out and let me know if you have any feedback. Before I go on, it's important to note that I'm just an ordinary user of ClickUp. I'm not an employee, neither am I sponsored by ClickUp. My intention is simply just to share with you how I use ClickUp for my personal users. Every user of ClickUp has an affiliated link, so if you want to sign up ClickUp, you may use my affiliated link, which is found in the description box below, or you may also use the original link from ClickUp. Now, is anyone hungry? Because today's template will be on how I use ClickUp to store my recipe database. This video will be broken down into mainly two parts on how I set up my database and how I use my database. So consider this live before ClickUp. So whenever I chance upon a new recipe, I will actually write down in this um, black physical book. So after I attempted the recipe, I write down the steps in this book. So for example, like this is my mac and cheese. I will take a photo of my uh, attempt and also write down the ingredients needed. Then I also write down the steps that I took and also some notes. I thought that like the appearance was good, but it does not really have that cheesy feel. So I made a note to myself to add in more cheese in the future. Yeah, and then I would leave like a few pages blank before I start on the next recipe. So sometimes this process can be tedious. You, know, you, you need to print out the photo, you need to write it down. And I just thought like, you know, could the process be better? And here comes ClickUp. With ClickUp, I can easily store my recipes into a list. And at one glance, I can see that I have yet to attend jajangmyeon while I have tried honey conflict cups. So this view that you see now is the recipe list view. It contains attempt status, meal type, first made date, last made date, reference URL to the original recipe, and text and also number of recorded attempts. So of course, you may add in more details if you need. Something interesting to highlight would be the text. So this is actually a short text field column in ClickUp. So for example, for mac and cheese, I put mac and cheese, cheese, macaroni, oven, and boy into the text column. So say if I want to check which recipe need an oven, I can search oven in the search box. Note that the search box should enable the task description and custom fields. So after enabling the task description and custom fields, you will be able to see that mac and cheese and honey conflicts both need an oven. Of course, instead of the text column, this is a short text field, you can do a column named as method, which contains oven, boiling, and frying, just like the meal type here. Well, it's really, really totally up to you. Next, if you have a picture of your attempt, you can edit and pin it to click up. So for example, I've added in my mac and cheese attempt. So I just have to pin this. And then when you scroll up, you will be able to see a big blown up picture. And then when you go to the list view here, you will be able to see small little images beside the name of the recipe. So hover over it. And there you go you'll be able to see your recipe. I have also made another list view. It's called recipe to try. The columns are the same as the recipe list view, but the recipes shown here are those that I have not attempted. So this is because I've added in a filter where attempt status is one to try. Next, I also have a collection by meal type. This is a board view. So over time, as you add in more recipe, this view will get busier. So from one glance, it looks like I have not found any dessert recipes or any side dish recipes. And I have another board view. This is collection by attempt status. So just like in the previous board view, for this board, I've grouped by attempt status. The last view that I have is this doc view or rather document view. I've named it as notes. So here I will store the oven temperature and the description because different recipes use different descriptions. So this is one way to actually standardize all of the description. Now let me show you how to add in a new recipe via the desktop. Make sure you have the ClickUp Chrome extension. 
The link to download is in the description box below. After downloading, the Click Up app should appear on the top right of your Chrome. Next, access the recipe link which you want to save. Click on the Click Up icon on the top right. A pop-up should appear. Make sure you click on Bookmark and also select the recipe database. Next, click on Save Bookmark. There will be a notification to alert that the task has been successfully created. Then, let's check our list. The new recipe would have been added to the list, so proceed to add in the details which we mentioned earlier. A pro tip to make this process easier is we can implement automation. As you can see, I have implemented it. So to implement the same automation, find the automate button on the top right of the ClickUp screen. Click on add automation. Then you set to the following conditions such that when a new task is created, we change the custom field attempt status to want to try. And you hit on the create button. So ClickUp will then bring you to this screen after you have successfully created the automation. So when you first input all the recipes like in one shot, right, I would suggest you not to add in this automation first. Because for free users, there is only 100 automation per month. So you do not want to use up all your entire automation because you are adding in the recipes. Let me show you how you can add in the new recipe on the mobile app. Firstly, make sure you have the ClickUp mobile app installed on your device. The link to download is in the description box below. Next, access the recipe link which you want to save. Depending on your device, click on the ellipsis and then click on Share. Find the ClickUp icon. Next, click on Add Task and make sure you select the recipe database. Click on the Send icon. And now check your list. The new recipe will have been added to the list. Proceed to add in the details which we have mentioned earlier. And finally, the moment you'll be waiting for, I've covered all the details on how you can set up your own recipe database. But of course, if you want something ready made, you're in for a treat. The link to the list template is in the description box below. The list template is created in a free workspace, so this means even if you're a free ClickUp user, you can also use all the features which I mentioned above. So note that this template is live. This means that if there are any new features that I want to add in, I will be adding into the template. And if you want to reload them, you can always uh, access the template link again to get the new updates. So please feel free to drop me a comment below to let me know about your thoughts when you're using this template. And that's all I have for today. Be sure to keep a lookout on my Medium and YouTube channel when I share new updates. Alternatively, you may also um, indicate your preferred name and email address in the ClickUp form which I did below. I will only use your preferred name and email address to send you any new updates. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the share, like and subscribe button before you go. See you.